The Bible says, Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated. What does this mean? It means that Jacob cared deeply about his inheritance. Esau did not care and gave his birthright inheritance for a bowl of soup. Let's read about it in Hebrews 12, verses 16 through 17, which says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person like Esau, who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. For you know that afterward, when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected. For he did not find any place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. What we have here with Esau is a picture of someone that did not believe. The word of God says, All that is not of faith is sin. Esau did not believe, so he gave away his inheritance for a bowl of soup. We have a generation of people who I believe are alive today, which will walk in the ways of Esau. They will give away their eternal inheritance in Christ Jesus. How is that possible, you ask? Let's look at scripture to find out. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3 tells us, Let not anyone deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come unless there first comes a falling away, and the man of sin shall be revealed, the son of perdition. How can there be a falling away? Once someone receives Christ, is it still possible for them to give away their eternal salvation? If you want to know how, many people will give away their inheritance of eternal salvation in a short amount of time. Here is how. In Revelation 14 verses 9 through 11, it says, And a third angel followed them, saying with a great voice, If anyone worships the beast in its image, and receives a mark in his forehead or in his hand, he also will drink of the wine of the anger of God, having been mixed undiluted in the cup of his wrath, and he will be tormented by fire and brimstone before the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment goes up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, those who worship the beast in its image, and whoever receives the mark of its name. This is the great falling away. It's the giving up of your eternal salvation by receiving the mark of the beast. Those that take the mark were told the gospel of Jesus Christ, so they had a choice. It says in Matthew 24 verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be proclaimed in all the world as a witness to all nations, and then the end shall come. Everyone still on earth will have a choice to either believe in Christ and refuse the mark of the beast, or reject Christ and take the mark of the beast. Why would anyone want to reject eternal salvation? Let's dig in the scriptures some more to find out why. In Revelation 13 verses 16 through 18, it says, And it causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand or in their foreheads, even that not any might buy or sell except those having the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of its name. Here is the wisdom. Let him, having reason, count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and its number is six hundred and sixty-six. The word of God says they will not be able to buy or sell unless they take the mark of the beast. That means you won't be able to buy food without it. There will be hungry people that will take the mark of the beast so they can eat food again. They will reject their eternal salvation for food. 
There is going to be great deception in the earth during this time. If you were not rooted and grounded in the word of God, you could possibly be part of the great falling away. Read God's word, which is the Bible, and hold on to the precious promises of eternal salvation. If you find yourself in the situation where you either take the mark of the beast or starve to death, it is far better to starve to death. Don't be an Esau who sold his birthright and afterward, when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected. You do not want to be rejected by God the Father in heaven because you rejected his son Christ Jesus by taking the mark of the beast.